Hello folks, this is Karst, and welcome back to part 6 of Control. This time, we're going it's down to ridiculous. Containment and the Panopticon to find our brother Dylan. Why? If his is a frequency, then why couldn't it vibrate molecules in order to alter human physiology? I got interrupted by this conversation, but it's interesting. Think about it. The precision that would require is unthinkable. Alright, so as I was saying, we are going to find Dylan, who is our brother. I just want to see if Emily has any new information for me. I guess she does. What do you have to tell me? Jesse, when you were down in research, did you run into a Dr. Rhea Underhill? No. I didn't. Who is she? She was, is, a colleague of mine. A researcher studying a kind of extra-dimensional mold growing below research. Well, I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, me neither. No one does. Look, I haven't heard from Rhea since the Hiss arrived. Would you mind having a look around for her next time you're in research? Of course. Thanks, Jesse. Now, what's on your mind? Uh, that sounded like a side quest. Yeah, okay. That definitely sounded like a side quest. There's a couple of side quests. What's Black Rock? I visited the quarry. What's the plan for all that Black Rock? The Bureau has used Black Rock almost exclusively for containment purposes. See, I say, branch out. Instead of boxes, helmets. Instead of blast shields, knives. Knives? Yes, knives. So many combat applications. Slicing, stabbing, gouging, or... You seem very into this, but okay. Sorry. I've been trying to get Darling to explore combat applications for years. I've got a little excited. A little wow. too excited. I yeah. did not expect that from her. Uh, what about Arish? This place is looking good. Arish is making real progress around here. Right? This place is a fortress. And with him taking care of operations here, I can spend more time analyzing the Hiss. I've been attempting to isolate and neutralize the Hiss resonance in blood samples, but no luck so far. So you can't reverse it? Not yet, but perhaps reversing it is too simple. See, if Hiss resonance can rewrite human genetics, then perhaps it's a question of rewriting the Hiss resonance. In theory, that could pave the way for custom human genetic alteration. I kind of felt like that's where you are going with this. I wonder how often the phrase mad scientist is used around here. Seems very relevant, yes. And what's the status of HRA production? How is HRA production coming along? <laughs> Better than expected. We've already made enough to get people out of a couple safe rooms. And they're here, alive, thanks to you. And we never would have lasted this long if you hadn't walked in those doors. You deserve thanks too, of course. We got this place up and running together, Emily. All right, let's head out. I should be going. Enjoy your data. Oh, I will. Okay, so I think there was one of those like urgent timed missions running right now, and then there was also um, old growth and central research. So there are some side quests I need to do. Um, I'm going to do the major targets and then the old growth before potentially moving forward with Brothers Keeper. Lots to do. Yes, there is. I don't actually know where Arish is in all this. The pattern shifts. But oh well. Where am I headed? I'm in Central Executive. Ritual Division, yes. What am I about to run into? Okay. Eliminate the key targets. Now, I failed this quest before. Not specifically this variation of it, but I did fail and get killed by the monster or the creature. Um, okay, that's fine. They just spawn in random or one by one, so that's not that bad. Oh, hello. Nearly killed myself again. Finding a way. Maybe I should uh, move. Heal up. Okay, that works. One more. Oh, that's not that bad. Seeing your supervisor. Okay. 
Honestly, he's not that bad. Comparatively. Just keep throwing stuff. Come on. Is that it? Is he wearing a cape? That's funny. Okay, he's done. So that leaves Central Research and Old Growth. Let's look for the doctor. Hopefully they're a good doctor. A nice doctor. So they said below Central Research, right? Let's find out. Somewhere down here. Have I been in here? Probably. Yes, I have. Okay, so specifically the mission says old growth locate underhill below central research. It's in an active threshold, apparently. But there is an elevator down here, apparently. So down here, perhaps? I've never been down here. Or maybe this was not open before. Uh, okay. That was awkward. Gimme. I choose to believe this is where I'm going. And it's not in here. I mean, I don't know if I've been to any of these before. Was I allowed in here before? I don't know. No, I've not been down here. Okay. I've not been anywhere around here. What the heck? Parapsychology. Yes, I did go down there. That was part of the main story. So, this takes me down to a lab. She might be down here, or she was down there. Well, only one way to find out. Acoustic research. Is this another object of power? I just saw there is another collectible I picked up. Um, this one. Oh, that's probably why I wasn't playing. Because <laughs> it might be copyright, uh, copyright music. Thank you. Oh, I'm full. Shatter projectile boost. Oh, that's a high level one too. All right. I'll throw out some stuff. It's fine. I'll live. I'll get rid of you. And you. And you. Shots fired. I don't need the recoil. I'm not worried about that. Okay, let me pick that up. Maybe there was nothing of note down here other than a, a notebook. Song questionnaire. Auditory experience 84.C. Poets of the Fall. My dark disquiet. Answer questions within two minutes of listening. Did the song elicit any particular memories? If so, elaborate. Did you at any point feel a strong emotion? If so, what emotion? Did a clear image of a weapon appear in your mind during the song? If so, elaborate. Provide a detailed description of your current surroundings as you see them. Have you ever heard the murmur of voices when no one is present? If so, what do they say? Do you hear them now? Please choose one from the following pairs. 6A, 1 or 2. 6B, A or B, 6C, day or night, 6D, apple or orange, 6E, burn out or fade away. Got it. Alright, so this was not where I was looking for. Evidently. So I guess I'll just go down the mysterious, um, yellow pitfall, more or less. I'm sure there's going to be another way back up here. Pre presumably. I've noticed I can prevent fall damage by dashing at the last uh, last possible moment, so... 
that's something I will do. The pit. Have I been down here? This does look strange. Hmm. I don't think I have been. Hey, look, it's uh, it's me again. Me as the director of this place. This is very um. Oh, that's a that, that's a window. I'll take that. It's a very uh, cor like underwatery place. This is probably where the. Oh, okay. I mean, those are humans, actual humans. So there might be the doctor here then. Allow me to loot everything before we talk, please. I mean, I have enough Careful clearance. There, Areas under quarantine. All right. Go in there without talking to Underhill first. Even if you have, I still wouldn't go in. Okay, so Underhill's probably in there. I kind of want to see what's over here, though. Let me in. Let me up. Thank you. Hello. That explodes. Got it. Is that? Oh. Oh, that's probably ill-advised. Pink Flamingo. Agents notice a transient commonly found outside the entrance of the Bureau headquarters would carry... Okay. Oh, a transient person would carry the item and loudly claim to be responsible for the lack of inclement weather. The frequency of these claims attracted the personal interest of Dr. Darling. In interviews disguised as casual conversations, the transient reported that the item gives me clouds when it's hot and sun when it's not. An event of note occurred during a heavy downpour when the vagrant was witnessed performing a possible ritual with the item. Dr. Darling reported a wait of blank seconds before the rain stopped. The vagrant was seized the next day. After blank, he was found to possess no blank and was released. The item remains in bureau custody under suspicion of altered status, though this has... This still has not been proven. All known variations of identification formulas have failed to elicit a response from the item. Yep, confiscated it because it might be an altered item. Nice. Okay, so how do I get back out of here, precisely? Just climb? Alright. Now let me into the lab, please. Doctor, you alive in here? Excuse me? Are you lost? I couldn't see her for a moment. Uh, let me read all your stuff before talking to you. Threshold Utility Counter Essay. Dr. Darling's recently penned essay titled Blank Blank contains some glaring omissions that I feel I must shine a light on. Firstly, the entire premise of the essay is that the quarry threshold is beneficial to the Bureau, while the mold is actively hostile, to use his words. We fought the mold, haven't we? It's that gunk that was blocking up the sewers, right? We cannot determine the worth of these dimensions and their life forms using bureaucratic definitions. Secondly, the mold is much more beneficial than some rock. If the blank creating the mold were reconfigured in their purpose, the structures could, they could build would rival the greatest skyscrapers. The mold's resistance to various strains of disease we've attempted to introduce could be derived into blank. Yes, admittedly, this ap application is more difficult than picking up a rock and gluing it to a wall. But I pause to wonder when the Bureau lost its eagerness for a challenge. And this is by Dr. Underhill, who's a contract threshold specialist. I'm going to ignore you for now. You have more items for me to read. Underhill, checking in. Hello, Raya. How's it going down there? Enjoying the mold so far? Settling back into life at the old FBC? I also wanted to ask how your coffee with Emily went. She's a star on the rise, incredibly bright, extremely intuitive. But I want to hear what you thought of her. I think you two could be very good on a project together. Could learn a lot from each other. Let's get together and chat about it soon. Anyway... Sorry for the interruption. I'm sure you can't think of anything besides the mold right now. You are always a woman of focus. I always admired that about you. Talk soon, Casper. And that's Mr. Dar uh, Dr. Darling, potentially. Hazmat suits. Eye wash stations. Yep. Hello, mold threshold. Progress report on the active threshold and th threshold and mold research. Do you know where, uh, so you want to know how my mold research is getting on, Casper? Here it is. Microscopic organisms, similar in appearance to blank, construct the architecture of the mold. I do not understand if these blanks are the original disseminators of the mold or are bitten by some fungal infection. The mold is the most prolific and durable organism that I have ever seen. I theorize there is a mold source located somewhere on our side of the threshold, rooted here to accelerate growth in our dimension. 
I refer to this yet unknown source as mold one. The mold produces an enticing aroma to encourage human consumption of itself. Uh oh, it propagates in the chest cavity and quickly subsumes the entire body, seizing control of motor functions. That's concerning. This behavior was not observed when I first arrived, which means that the mold has adapted to our presence, targeting our biological imperatives as a way to spread. It is a truly ingenious little thing. A full report will be ready soon. Keep your slacks on. Got it. All right, Dr. Underhill, let's chat. Do you normally barge into people's private workspaces? I have been, yes. She clearly doesn't know who she's talking to. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Why? Because of those his things the rangers keep going on about. Haven't yes. you people sorted that out yet? The situation down here could spell doom for the Bureau. You mean this mold? Correct. Perhaps you could help me. Perhaps I could. I require samples of various mold strains, and the mold has made the environment far too dangerous for me to fetch them myself. Really? Mold samples? I thought this could spell doom. It could, and it will, whoever you are. The mold is spreading. We need to find the source before it spreads too far. Any samples will do that? No. Samples of five unique strains, when blended properly, will allow you to travel deeper into the pit where I've pinpointed the approximate location of the source of the mold. Okay. So what do these samples look like? Similar to the one on my table there. I've made a list of the samples I need here. You'll Thank find you. them throughout the threshold. I'll take a look. My name's Jesse, by the way. I'm sure it is. She doesn't care. Uh, wah. This is all in research in the active threshold. I need to find fresh corpses, toilets, TVs, staircases, and the pit. Okay. Uh, what, what about bureau research? Have you worked at the FBC very long? Not long enough to understand their inane methodology. They want me to solve the mold, but how is one to solve anything when the basic molecular structure of this fungus is an utter enigma? Oh, sorry, are you asking me? It's rhetorical. The Bureau wants to control, huh. not comprehend. Name of the game. But to answer your question, I'm a seasoned threshold researcher that's been brought in on a provisional basis to resolve this matter. That's all you had to say. Uh, what about the mold? Are we playing RE7? What have you learned about the mold? Firstly, the term mold is a gross oversimplification used only to ease communication. That said, the mold itself appears to be the product of complex microorganisms. They spin the mold, building structures like minuscule cities, swiftly colonizing our dimension, and the speed of these tiny engineers relative to their size simply staggering so it grows fast if you're not going to listen then why did you ask okay uh thresholds so the mold is coming in from where we don't have a name for the threshold dimension the origin point has been identified but the density of the fungus makes it impossible to enter even if we could, I speculate that we would only find a reality entirely subsumed by the fungus. Total decomposition! It's weird how excited she is, right? I mean, it's her life's work. And what about the hiss? I bet you basically, you're too absorbed with the mold and you've been down here, you don't know anything about the hiss, do you? What do you know about the hiss? How could I know anything about an entity I've only just learned of? This is exactly the Bureau's problem. My work is always interrupted by these, these superfluous matters. Calm down. Just keep your HRA on and I'm sure you'll be fine. This crude thing. I thought it was Darling's idea of a practical joke. At least you're wearing Not it. Not quite. Just keep your head down while I handle the hiss. Alright, moving on. I need to get going. Try not to transport any spores outside the infected areas. Uh, I'll I try. I on duty down here. This place is fucking weird. Yeah, no nothing. kidding. The clocks? No, that's weird. I don't actually... Weird about a bunch of clocks. Shut up! I think that's the new director. Yes, I am. What clocks? 
Well, the pit is right here. As far as I know. Grows near the pit, yes. And this it smells so sweet down here. Suddenly I'm really hungry. I wonder how this mold take. Are those people? They were. That's concerning. I don't like that. Oops. But he's done. Okay. Tell me more. No information about them? Okay. Oh, they're shooting at me. Okay. deserve that, I guess. All of that and more. Okay. Oh, gosh. Something was still shooting at me and I had no idea. Okay. Oh, what? Uh -oh. Regret, regret, pain. Oh. Well. Died anyway, but uh, yeah, so that was not open before, I don't think. A bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Sometimes you will eat a little bit of shit. So I have to run all the way back down there. Lovely. No, thanks. I'm not. Well, okay, fine. Okay, it's a sticky grenade, apparently. Where's the healing thing? Where's the healing orb? I like that if you do it fast enough, they can't actually stop you. The elevated. I think I'm done with these though. Okay. Or is there something else? Music's still playing. And my gun's still out, so... Ah, oh, hello. Okay, more than I was expecting. <laughs> I think I traded with him, that was funny. I'll reload, it's fine. Bye. We're good? Alright. That was a little more involved than I was expecting, to be honest. And all that just to come back here to the, to the mold. To the mold! Alright. Let's try that again.
It's all in research in an active threshold. I presume this is the threshold they're talking about. How long does it take to explore? Okay. I've already been down here, but maybe something spawned? For me to collect? No? Okay. Oh! Don't like that. Mine. What do you look like? Oh, like fungus people. Of course you do. See, this is the fear, right? Like, I would get a mask or something. You don't want to be breathing in any mold. At all. Thank you. Ow. Oh, you're shooting a lot. What else was shooting me, though? It's not these things, are they? Like, just by me walking near them? It could be, so I don't want to risk it anymore. I died here last time, and I'm already low on health. that. Don't like that. You done yet? Okay. I kind of want to keep going down, to be honest, but that's probably a bad idea. Okay. This is a lot larger than what I was thinking. This area is huge. What the heck is this? So should I go down there or not? I mean, definitely don't step on that. But like, what about the, what's in that hole? I kind of want to see what's in the hole. Okay, well, that's one. This looks like a good one. Okay. Which one was that, though? Well, let's count it as taken, then. So I just have to explore this area. So the restroom, this is going to be the where the bathroom one is. Hello. Mine. Well, toilets. Thank you for the shield efficiency. It's probably up here then. Hello. Oops. Mate. Gross. Under hell is gonna owe me for this. I mean, we're sticking it in our pocket, so it could be worse. Not by much, but it could be worse. Um. Okay, just in some office. Got it. Nothing of note here. I am very lost. There's another lab, and I can climb back up. Okay. Well, I'll take that. One of Underhill samples. What is this? Oh, another.
This this uh, little short thing is uh, very unnerving. I'll say that. I did not like the first one, and we'll see how this one goes. Oh, that's a control point, yep. Building shifts occur at random and without warning, but with the Bureau's cutting edge technology, we can stabilize the oldest house. Safe employees are happy employees. <laughs> okay. Certain rituals allow agents to navigate the oldest house as well. But accidents do happen. <laughs> Trapping agents inside the walls. I heard you got stuck in your room for three days, Tofa. Too bad you didn't have your book with you. Or any food. And remember, kids, when you feel the floor deviate, it's already much too late. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Alright. Another lovely episode of um, The Threshold Kids. I'm glad that's in this game. With lovely, lovely little mascots, yes. Still very lost in here. Okay, so now I'm on this side again. And some of the enemies have respawned. Oh, there's a lot of them. What the? Something else is shooting me. Did I actually find a new spot, or is this the same spot? But on the other side. I don't currently know. Also, where'd all the enemies go? Oh. That's where they went. Uh, well, that's bad. Ow, 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 getting shot. Okay, bad. Dead. Okay, those things suck. Do not like them. All right, third time's a charm, right? No shame, no shame. Don't, just ignore the fact that I've been down here like three times, okay guys? Okay, so those enemies, the mushroom dude, they're, uh, everything's going to respawn. As it were, I'm about to explode, I just hurt myself. Well, the unfortunate thing is that one respawned as well. Like, it wasn't... I already killed it the first time around. Yeah, so none of the enemies are back on this side. I don't know why I did that. Oh well, I mean, we're back. A bit of a shame, but we're okay. It is too dark to see anything, but that's okay as well. Is this considered the staircase area? I like that there's an office chair just in the wall. Hello? Thank you. Another one. Oh, uh, this will be the staircase one. Thank you. And the fresh corpses will probably be up here somewhere. I assume. Oh, control point. Let's grab it. No more respawning all the way up there if I die again. That's probably music that I'm not allowed to listen to. That's fine. These are all fresh corpses. Thank you. This looks like a good one. All right, Doctor. That's all five samples. Uh, maybe I after get I rail. get my board countermeasure done. Dodge efficiency, sure. Why not? I'm in the research area. Hmm. Piss warped. You really don't see that too much, actually. Piss snipers. I've not seen them in a while either. I'm not in maintenance anymore, so I should drop it. 
I'm in research, but I have to kill 25 things. Assuming I can even do that. Upgrade spin, upgrade pierce. I would like to upgrade spin, but now I do not have enough gear for it. Nothing respawn down here? Alright. Time to go. Dr. Underhill, I've done your job for you. You look like a woman with mood for me. Yes, you could say that. I found L5, but I kind of wanted to eat them. The mold has that effect on some people. Likely due to the fact it's not actually mold or even of this dimension. I suspect it is the result of two incompatible molecular structures, one dominant, coming into contact. I call it mold or fungus because it's closer in appearance and behavior than anything else we know, except perhaps bacteria. She reminds me of my old biology teacher. She seems very Did focused. Did you happen to meet any more members of my ranger detail? No, they're all dead. I didn't see any rangers. Just walking mold people. Unless... Yes, if you found mold people, you found my rangers. I refer to the creatures as hosts. They, like other unwary agents, succumbed to the appetite. Oh, they ate it. But that's nothing for you to worry about. It's a little worrying. The kill I'm about to make with these samples will make the lower level perfectly safe to traverse. It has the added benefit of immunizing you against the pit's toxic spores. Now leave me to it. I like how it's like, oh hey, toxic spores. Um, also, don't eat the fungus or you'll turn into a mold person. Not to mention that I've been breathing in the toxic spores, so uh, yeah, please uh, hurry up and finish that antidote. I assume I'm gonna have to come back to find you later, given that going. it's telling me, hey, not to she's not ready. Spores outside the infected areas. Yeah, well, it's too late for that, I've been breathing it in. So yeah, so now my next quest is just literally, oh, give her time. So I assume that will come up again later down the line. Um, in that case, I can continue doing my brother's keeper. My family had black mold once. Did you? Yes, but Has that's different. Tried bleach? That's very different. And you also don't know what kind of chemical reaction is going to happen with this alien mold. Time to get up and out. This button does not work. So I don't know how they expect me to leave. I mean, I can always run to that control point from earlier. But I feel like I'm missing something. Like, there is... I mean, this elevator's right here. I'm just not allowed to push any of the buttons. So. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to fast travel from another control point. As far as I know. Alright. Let's get down to... Containment Sector. This sounds exciting. We will see how that goes, and uh, what kind of horrors we're going to find down here. Hello? Containment sector. Panopticon. Altered item. Maximum security prison. Dangerous. Have I basically been needing to use the hotline to see all of these and not been doing it like because they're talking he's talking but i'm only getting snippets if i watch this is this going to give me the whole story the containment yes it is okay Opticon is home to the altered items we find and contain it is a maximum security prison it's a vault for the most valuable treasures on Earth. It's a powder keg big enough to blow this world to dust. A temple, a place of worship filled with idols of angry gods. It's all of these. And none of them. It's something more profound. Unbelievable. Unknowable. Something worse. Worse? Altered items. We've found many. They appear mundane, but nothing could be further from the truth. They are all powerful. Dangerous. They press heavy on our minds because that's their nature. 
they've been altered because we can't stop thinking about them. We put them on altars because they're used to being worshipped. This keeps them calm. We contain them, but they don't want to be controlled. We study them to discover what makes them tick. If this place were ever breached, it would be chaos of biblical proportions. That is a bit concerning, yes. So, yeah, I've actually not listened in on, like, most of these. Because I kind of always listen to the snippets only, and then essentially uh, assumed I had seen everything I needed. So I should probably look at the astral constructs, because that is what the quarry was made out of. Although this is shorter. This is much shorter. Oh, this is crafting stuff. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to pay close attention to that from here on out. Everything else we know now, I feel like, has been uh, pretty much explained to us already. But it would be helpful to have all this additional information. I th assume that's the old director right there. Although I'm not sure who that is. Okay. Containment. What have we got? Thank you. Remote thought. This looks pretty similar to the, my uh, to the previous location. They're still using typewriters and stuff down here, though. Is it because it's unhackable? All right. What kind of enemy are you? Oh, it's a few of you. All right. Mine. Pick up some healing. Okay. Is that it? Feels like that was it. It worked out. Probably blew up a ton of stuff in the process, but it worked out. Give me that. Oh, I'm full. Uh, personal mods are full. Let me deconstruct some stuff then. I'll get rid of all the common stuff, because at this point of the game, I mean, first of all, I'm barely using these, and secondly, why keep the common ones when I have, you know, level 4 or level 5 stuff at some point? Thank you. I'm surprised there wasn't anything to pick up in the offices, though. Oh, this is... yeah, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. This is an entirely new area. I think I just destroyed the stairs crawling up them. Crawling them. I'll read that. Or listen. Reminder. This week, any documents that suddenly appear pink, light red, or any shade in between must be incinerated immediately. Probably a good Failure idea. to do so will result in termination and possible bodily harm. Thank you for your attention. Okay. Shield boost. I sure wish I had more uh, more points to put into my skills right now. Oh, don't want to be in here yet. Alright, let's see what's in here. Oh, it's just the shelter. I guess I have no choice but to go in there. That's fine. Hello. Alrighty. Pierce zoom boost. I will never use Pierce because I'm terrible at sniping. Those are enemies with shields, I can already tell. Alright. He 
He's just running at me with a cape on. Where's my cape? Now, why don't I get a cape? It's not fair. Okay. Oh! Oh, bad. This is bad. Ow. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I'm super dead. Oh, god. Get the healing. I don't think I've failed that completely before. I guess though I guess those uh, chargers or whatever, but uh, yeah, it worked out. Another control point, I'll take it. And this will open up this region. I'm glad I survived. I wasn't thinking I would make it out of that. Okay. What does this open up for me? I'm in logistics. So, I'm going to take a look on the left side. Because it looks like the right side's really going to stretch out far. Although, there's probably going to block me off with more hiss. Like, hiss doors or whatever. There's so many doors and places and things. Whoa, okay. The reflections messed with me again. Central containment. Man down. Oh, it's a person. Someone needs help over there. True. Pram procedures. Smoking pram. Hmm. Containment cell must be properly ventilated. Inhalation of the item smoke causes blank. Item is a very uh item is a baby carriage with a black shade and steel wire wheels. Left front wheel is slightly bent, causing a distinct wobble when pushed. Item produces smoke incessantly. Smoke density varies. Smoke is generated without apparent fire or ignition source. An incident in Paris in 1979 brought the pram to the attention of the bureau. Smoke filled an antique store when the pram was being sold, killing the shop's owner. Update. Detailed records of the events leading to the item's discovery were destroyed in an incident in the Panopticon. Interviews with living witnesses were re-performed at the order of the Archives and Records Chief. Alright. I've noticed I've never found the pink flamingo in the end. Sounds like there's a man down. Yes, I know, but I'm gonna... Let me actually, like, fully explore this area first before I do any of that, please. Like... This is an upper level of central containment that I did not know about. No, this is where I came in. Never mind. But what about this door? Fine. Fine. Uh, I guess I'll deal with the man down then. Before moving on. All right, who am I helping out over here? Oh, hey. I'm here. What happened to you? I uh, got in a little scrap. Name's Horowitz. I, oh, ah. Well, you're alive. Is he gonna be okay? Don't look at me like that. I'm fine. But Wells is still in there. You gotta get him out. Who's Wells? My squad mate. We is he a monster? A altered item. We followed it down into the clocks. The clocks? A threshold. The bureau sealed it up years back because of all the clocks. We, w we followed the altered item inside, but the way it was acting, we weren't ready. Me and Wells were the only ones to make it to the motel court. He was right behind me, but he never showed up on this side. I'll go find him. But first, you need to get to a medic. Oh, Wells is the medic. Please, you gotta get him out of there. I'll be fine, really. Roop can patch me up later. Fine. I get but the feeling you're not gonna be okay. I damn well hope so. <laughs> Just use the motel cord there. It should get you into the clocks. Sorry, the threshold. Uh, which cord? Is this a side quest or is this a... I guess it's a side quest. Okay, I'll do it. Traverse the Ocean View Motel. I will. Now, you said the cord was right here, didn't you? Oh, this one. 
one, two, bump. We're back. Ding. Oh, what's that? The clocks. Got it. Um. Uh, okay. Not sure what... Wait, am I supposed to match it? 3.45. Wait, it stopped moving. There we go. Am I supposed to just catch it at the right time? What the heck? One, two, three. I missed it by a little. Okay. Well, let, let's keep going. Let's see what, what happens. Or maybe I'm looking for 4... 351. Oh, no. I think I stopped at the right time. Yeah, I stopped at the right time. Okay. I'll ding it again. And now it's um, 8 o'clock, 8.02 or whatever. Got it. Come on. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I passed it. Oh, I can just stop it like that. Oh. I wish I could go backward or set it myself. Okay, well, it just catches it. All right, that's fine. Next. Oh, 12 on the dot. I keep expecting a jump scare in this game. I don't know why. I know it's not the point, but... Okay. The key, thank you. Like, I know this isn't really a horror game in the end, but it kind of feels like it could be. Easily. One. Two. Three. Where am I? Uh. Well, he's down this here somewhere. This guy can't be far. Oh, I know that. It's like a construction zone. I'm hearing enemies. Those must be the clocks he was talking about. Yep, there's a lot of clocks. Camp is this way. Got it. Was that him? Was that it? That might have been it. In which case, I'm happy to claim it. Bye. Mine. Okay, well, I heard Wells say something. So he's definitely alive down here somewhere. I saw his subtitle pop up. Is he up here? Probably, right? Is he in the light? Yes, he is. He's not, uh, he's not doing too hot. Can I talk to you or not? Okay, now I can probably talk to you. Hello? Are you Wells? Your friend asked me to come looking for you. That must be Horowitz. Glad he got out. I stayed back to help the others, did a shit job of it, clearly. You tried. That's enough. Horowitz needs your help now. How do we get out of here? We should head back through the threshold. Uh-oh. We can look for other survivors as we go. We better hurry. Which way? Just follow the blood. Got it. Let's go. I'll have to look up that uh, side quest later, because I want to finish this first and not the urgent missions or whatever. Follow the blood, you say? Well, dead bodies everywhere. Huh. Clear us level 9. Yeah, well, that's not happening. 
Oh, I'm all the way over here. What the heck? Okay. Oh, did he have access? This is the way out. He did have access. Okay. What's with the clocks? Threshold effect. Mm -hmm. This used to be a regular office wing before the threshold manifested. The forces at play in there got a hold of someone's old clock and started duplicating it. Now the office is abandoned and its clock's all the way down. Yeah, but I kind of want to see what this is all about. What relevance does this have? Are you actually going to start recording or what? I do appreciate them including all the a lot of the game's um, little things in in this real footage. That's always fun. Hey, it's uh is that Darling? Yeah. Alright, well that was a thing. Bye. Uh, sorry about that, I forgot you were kind of there. Oh crap! Ow! Ate it to the face! I thought I had more... I thought I had more power than that. I clearly did not. Mine. I should probably dip out. Okay. Ow. That's okay, I tanked it. Uh, what's up here? The clocks let me up here. Think you can find a way around? Oh, that's what it was. Let me see. Let me see. Life uh finds a way. Let me read this. Postbox supplement. The Jasper Postbox. Agents arrive in the sitter. In the sitter. Hmm. Agents arrived in the town of Jasper Crossing, Arizona, after the communications department intercepted multiple phone calls to local authorities regarding frozen people in the streets. Four of the five dispatched agents became paralyzed upon arriving at the scene. Additional assessment teams were dispatched. Variations of identification formulas were tried, but with ineffectual results. Agents resorted to using aerial photography to study the positioning of the paralyzed individuals. Soon after, agents discovered the event's epicenter to be the local post office. Unaffected agents cleared the area of all paralyzed civilians, animals, and bureau personnel before beginning to study the item. Agents deemed susceptible to the item were tasked with interviewing and reinforming the public away from the site. The item was soon placed on a transport vehicle manned by unaffected agents. Air travel had been deemed too dangerous, but given the item's effect, yep. Numerous reports of temporary paralysis were reported by civilians along the truck's route from Arizona to New York City. Makes sense. Alrighty. Let's get that door for him. Alright, Wells. Nothing else I'm missing in here. Nothing I can read. No, no, no. Okay. Let's go. Oops. 
I have too much fun bursting through the glass. Who? Oh, hit that. Yeah, we're not expecting anyone else to have gotten out, to be honest. This is pretty much uh, par for the course, to be frank. Hello. Bye. I like that if you pick things up fast enough and throw it immediately, you can pretty much catch them off the line. Fine. Bye. Oh. I'll take you. Ow. That's fine. Ow! Stop that. You're on my team now. You don't get to do that to me anymore. Ow. Nearly died. Nearly died. I'm glad the clocks don't kill me or hurt me. There's a lot of gunfire. That's a lot of damage. Uh, okay, I should probably move. You know what? I'm gonna hide in the bathroom. I say that, but I just need a heal. Okay. Health remains to be low. So that's fine. He's not aiming at me, right? Thank goodness I've got uh, someone else I can aim at. Oh, that did it. Thank you. Okay, um, not sure where I should go from here, but, oh, I'll take that. Thank you. Hmm. Refrigerator supplement. Can you tell us why you left your building that day? I was running out to get eggs. There was this corner store on the 30th. That's why I left Michael there on his own. Knew I wouldn't be gone long. He was drawing at the table when I left. Had his crayons out. Happy. The building came down when I was a block away. I ran back, started digging. City workers found Mikey later, beside the fridge. The drawings hadn't come off. Tons of bricks fall on it and those drawings are still there. How does that happen? You kept the refrigerator after the accident. Why? It still had his drawings. God must have kept him safe for a reason, right? I'd get home from work and stare at them all night. I was in a bad way back then. Why did you sell the fridge with your son's drawing still on it? They'd gotten stuck to it, or something. I thought about cutting them off those magnets, but maybe it was better I didn't hold on to them, you know? Gotta move on, any everyone says. What's my fridge got to do with the building collapse, anyhow? End of relevant portion. Fair enough. That safe room is where the old item cornered us. Altered items. Which safe? Oh, I'll need to mean? come deal with that altered item later. If oh. I open the safe room now, Wells could get hurt. The here's the fun part. I don't even know what safe room he's talking about. Probably back here. Somewhere. I'm just walking through clocks. Still don't know what he's talking about, but that's fine. When it was clear we couldn't contain the altered item, Horowitz ordered a retreat. We got mm -hmm. out, but Hiss was waiting for us. That's fine. So Horowitz to the motel court and went back for the others. It's why I'm here. I'll deal with the Hiss. Don't worry. That was brave of you. Don't you worry. I got this. I'm the medic. It's my job. Yes, I've been told. I will be. Oh, work chat. Clean parts. Okay, Mr. Dead Dog, what do you think of this? 
You know that airplane we brought in? Like the actual proper airplane? Guess who they made catalog every individual piece of that plane to be examined for suspected altered status? I had to count every bolt, nut, and piece of non-connected metal. And that's just on the exterior of the damn thing. Do you know how many pieces of hardware it takes to make an airplane? I do. I do! <laughs> that's pretty good. Maybe from a plane crash or something? Might. Thank you. That's the plan. Hello. Give me. Thank you. Bye bye. I mean, that was simple enough, wasn't it? I'm surprised that was all that was involved. Oh, there we go. That's still not that bad. Oh, it's bright. Hello. Jimmy. It's really strange to run into enemies that are that easy at this point. Also, please open the door for me, Wells. I'll wait for you. Thank you. Also, give me your clearance card, please. Just give me your clearance card now, and nobody has to get hurt. Come on. The motel court is on the other side of the distance. That's fine. Should still be there. Mannequin supplement. Oh dear. A waste mannequin. Okay. The item was last owned by Madame Blank, an operatic performer from Berlin. After her career ended in a public scandal, she relocated to Blank, Maine, for reasons unknown. With her came the trappings of her old life, including this item. Locals report that she rarely left her home in the short years she spent in Blank. After her death, caused by Blank Blank, the state held a public auction of her belongings, seeing as she had no known relatives. Various conflicting first-hand reports exist, but testimonies provided by witnesses of the event do contain some common elements. Most, uh, most every witness saw numerous mannequins break through the house's windows, tumbling outside. Some witnesses report bright lights. Some report high-pitched singing. These are unverified. Numerous civilians inside the house at the time of the incident were hospitalized for various injuries. Two were crushed to death. Agents were dispatched upon seeing an article regarding these events during the Bureau's daily scans of national periodicals. The item was quickly identified and brought to the Bureau. Got it. Alright, we're back out here. What was through here? Oh. I guess I was supposed to take him here? Yes, I was. At the control point. This is it, yes? This is what you meant? Let's chat. Let's go. Oh. What the heck was that all about? He's gonna be dead over here, isn't he? Or maybe they'll survive and we'll act. No, he's dead. Something's wrong. Yeah, no, he's done. Shit. Hey, bud. Horowitz. Oh God, no. Oh well. Oh, you're still alive. I was not expecting you to have that much health. I thought you were just a standard. Boy. Okay. That's fine. The worrying thing is he had an HRA on. He's not that tough though, he's not actually shooting me. I mean, he sort of is now. What a boss fight. The one where the boss runs from you the entire time. Hello? Thank you. 
Well, I'm sorry about your I buddy. Talk to Wells. Make sure he's okay. Again, though, not exactly surprised that uh, he didn't make it. Um, it's oh, I forgot I had a second. Oh crap! I forgot I had a second one of these. Do these stack? Is another question I have. Like, does the headshot damage stack? Hmm. Just damage boost, flat damage boost. I'll take it. Well, he's dead, Jim. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. And thanks for coming to get me. Horowitz's HRA must have been damaged in the threshold. Ah, uh, okay. Guy never put himself first. At least the anchor altered item is still locked away down in the clocks. I hope it rots down there. That altered item needs to be dealt with before it hurts anyone else. I should go back down and contain it. Head to the executive sector, Wells. They could use a medic. Thank you, Director. I'll go see what good I can do there. Okay. I mean, I can go down there. I'm down for it. Enemy within. Investigate the safe room. Yeah, I'm down for it, but I don't know if I'm high enough level. Because sometimes you run into things that are like, Oh, hey, you're uh, level 8 or something. Uh, central research. I could do that. Just a random side quest. Real point is, I don't know if it's worth it. I'll do it while I'm here. I may as well. So, there is a section I've not explored yet, which is the right. Because I made a point to get down here, but then I went through the door. But I'm running out of time to actually explore the central uh, research section. And security is ahead. These are bathrooms. Bathrooms with nothing in them. I don't want to go through this door. Oh. Never mind. Not right now. I'm just going to go to Central. Let's go. After I unlock this. Yes. Let's see, can I upgrade? No, I can upgrade Pierce, but I don't care for it. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Where are you? Research Central. While using launch, press to carry additional objects. So I can just throw a bunch of stuff at once. Got it. Uh, destroy his nodes. That's the quest. Got it. Am I in the right place, though? Oh. Um, I think that's a his note back there. I don't want to be fancy about it, I just want to do the quest, because I'm running out of time to do it. Okay. So that was one. There's another one down there. Um, one down there. Okay. One over there. That doesn't sound good. Alright. Honestly, not that bad. I should probably heal up a little, though. Uh, who else? Hello? Bye. Um, pretty sure I saw one down here. How many nodes left? One? Okay. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Okay. 
Okay, maybe I should not be here. Okay. Don't like that. Okay. Ah, uh, so that's the problem. You! How many of you are there? Holy crap. Okay. Gimme. Oh man, I suck. Alright, I'll heal. Fine, I'll heal. Ow. Ow. Okay. Ow. Ow. I'm gonna fail this quest purely because- ah. All right, I totally passed it. Awesome. There may have been some trial and error, but that's okay. Who is still shooting me? Stop that. All right. It all kind of worked out in the end, right? Can't complain about that. All right. Okay, so I've made it back down to the control point down in containment. I think this is actually a good spot to stop right here. I hope that you enjoyed what you saw here in this episode, and that you're doing well wherever you are. This is Karst with Control, and I'll see you next time, where we continue with the main quest. Have a great day. Bye-bye.